There's my calculator. Okay, so um, ladies and gentlemen, we have de deposit $12,000 with an annual interest rate of 8% compounded continuously and for 50 years, all right? So the couple of things that was in your uh, book as far as compounds, you know, interest continuously is we're gonna use the formula, which I just like to call PERT. All right, so A equals P times E raised to the R times T. So the next thing we need to do is by using, applying this formula, we need to understand what do all of those letters represent. So A represents our final amount. All right, so if you say you're going to invest some money and you want to know how much money at the end, Marissa, that you're going to have, that's what A is going to represent, your final amount. Um, P is being what we call our principal. And what that is, that's your initial deposit. OK? Sure, that's OK. That's your initial deposit, all right, or your initial amount. Um, then we're going to have E. And that's going to equal our constant. Just hold on a second. That's going to equal our constant for. Uh, that's going to equal our constant for our compound or continuous interest. And I'll explain that a little bit more once we get into the. Um, continue, are you seriously? See, you see how much people are showing up after, after the bell rings is annoying? So therefore, we have the constant for continuous interest. Oh, he's just an eight. OK. Oh, that's actually the girl who let you in. How oh, cool. All right. Um, so we have the constant for co the continuous interest. R is your annual interest rate. That's the annual interest rate in decimal form, and t equals the years. OK? So ladies and gentlemen, all we're planning on doing with these is you're absolutely going to want to make sure you use your calculator. But all we're planning on working with this is just plugging in the information we know from the problem. So here it says you made a deposit of $12,000 um, with an annual interest rate of 8% compounded continuously for 50 years. You know what? is your final amount. I guess I didn't write that in there. So we don't know what A is, so A remains a variable. P is our initial amount, which is $12,000. E is a constant. We don't plug anything in for E. E is going to be our constant for continuous interest, so that's going to stay. R is our interest rate in decimal form, so 8% in decimal form is going to be 0 0.08. And then t is years. We have 50 years. All right. So now we take out our nice little handy calculator. And you don't need a graphing calculator for this, but you at least need a scientific calculator that's going to have the constant e. So when doing this, you can either just plug in the equation all by yourself. Or what I always like to do is just do it once at a time by doing 0 0.08 times 50. I find my constant e. raised to the fourth, and then I multiply that times $12,000. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you deposit $12,000 into an account that's going to compound continuously for 50 years at 8%, um, after 50 years, you will now have a final value equal to $655,177.82. Cool. All right. And that's it. Would you guys like me to do one more problem on compound interest?